there should be more Kubrat. Let me see. Let me see. And one part Aqua Force. Okay, yeah, it's cool. Really cool. Okay, I don't know if you want me to read this. I read it for now, until you tell me otherwise. This is my third attempt to produce artificial. White. The former compounds lack the potential I need, but I sense some clues. Uh, Calamine and orpiment are g given, and the corpora binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, of course, in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful, the solution is highly acid and provides. They are impractical to put to any use except as a deterrent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use this recipe, recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my petition. Some sort of organic tissue block the path of my Oh, I need to find... Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't want to go there. Okay, you should, I think you should find, like, some ingredients or something. So you can get rid of... Oh, <laughs> I thought this was something evil. Yeah. Uh, disgusting. Uh, I think you should find some... On the 16th of May, 1839, the unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. Idea, no matter what idea. the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Bad fucking idea. I need to find a key. Oh, look at this. Oh, like a pro. Maybe. Oh, I know that. 
attention and service to Alexander Baron of blah blah blah. This contract will be regained for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Dix is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum with the Order of the Black Eagle. <laughs> many of many break the seal. Wilhelm House of Garage. On the 17th of May, 1839, my hand trembles as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if it I linger. Will. Will. I Today, promise. I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. <laughs> I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken yeah. steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I told he was a motherfucking man. this Structures. 
sacred ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Okay. Is battle good? It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay. 